Hi and welcome to CalLab Marketing. Today we're going to be talking about how to create a safe island for home ADSL setups. So as in previous segments, we're going to go through the same three-step process. The first step is to identify the equipment you want to protect as well as the external connections. The second step is to unify the equipment in that setup into a single system. The third step is to ensure correct CLLI or correct CalLab lining isolator installation. So let's take a look at a typical ADSL um, home setup. Now you'd have your ADSL modem, Wi-Fi router, CPU, monitor and perhaps an all-in-one fax machine. Once you've identified the equipment you want to protect, we're again going to draw the imaginary boundary to signify the island. So next, we're going to identify the external connections. In this particular case, the ADSL modem has a power supply as well as a telco line coming in. Wi-Fi router, CPU and monitor has power supply. An all-in-one fax machine has power supply as well as a telco line. So, We've identified the external connections, two types. The first one is power supply. The second one is the telco line. So that's step number one, identifying equipment you want to protect as well as the external connections. Step number two is to unify the equipment in this setup into a single system. So please draw your attention to the right hand side of the screen. Now in order to unify the equipment into a single system, we first need to use the correct lightning isolator model. In this particular case, we're going to use two types of lightning isolators or CLLI. The first one will be the SF, 9512DSL. The second one would be the SP9201ARD. Okay. This particular isolator will support power supply as well as your ADSL connection. This particular isolator will support the analog connection to your all-in-one fax machine. So let's take a look at the correct installation um, for this equipment setup together with the isolator. As usual, the isolator has to be the first point of contact to the wall. So in this particular case, the SF9512 three pin plug has to be plugged directly to a wall outlet. Okay. The telco line will, well, the telco line will, will be split into two. You'll be using a splitter or a micro filter. The line that goes into your modem will first be plugged into our SF9512 DSL. The line that is dedicated to your all-in-one fax will then be plugged into our SP9201 ARD. So now let's take a look and see how the connection would be from the isolators to your equipment setup. Um, the power supply of all these equipment will be plugged into our SF9512 DSL. The ADSL line from the SF9512 DSL will be connected to the ADSL modem. And the telco line dedicated to your fax from the SP9201 ARD will be connected to your fax machine. Now, once you've used the correct lightning isolator models, we need to ensure perfect unification. And as in previous segments, we need to ensure that both the earth wire of the SF9512 DSL and the SP9201 ARD is connected. Okay? So this is the correct lightning isolators uh, that you should use and correct lightning isolator installation. Let's take a look at its physical form. Now this would be the SF9512 DSL. Uh, as can be seen here, this is for the um, equipment power supply, which will be plugged through to an extension or a power strip. This uh, would be for the ADSL um, uh, telephone line coming in. So the telco line coming in will be plugged into the uh, SF9502 DSL and we will provide you with a telephone connection so that you can connect it from the out terminal to your ADSL modem, okay? That's the SF9502 DSL and for the SP9201 ARD, okay? This, um, uh, as can be seen here, this plug will be plugged into your all-in-one fax machine and the line coming from the splitter, the analog line, will be plugged into the SP9201 ARD. And the last step and the most important step is to make sure that both the green wires are connected together. So please ensure that the green wire of the SP9201 ARD is connected to the SF9512 DSL. Okay? So that's how we create a safe island for your home ADSL setup using the SF9512 DSL and the SP9201 ARD. So thank you for your time and please stay tuned for the next segment.